Hi there. This is Yukon from the computer support department. I see you needed help with some computer problems, correct? Yep. Okay. Perfect. So, what exactly was the issue? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm just going to type this down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can definitely take a look at that. No worries. Okay. Okay, so you need a password reset for Office 365. And you're also having troubles with Outlook. And Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So you need help connecting that printer. Oh, okay. I can definitely help you with that. Okay, so um, you're at your computer right now, correct? Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to download a remote application so I can remote onto your computer. It's called the Team Viewer. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to open a web browser for me and then search for Team Viewer. Okay, and then it's gonna be the first one uh, in the Google search results. I'm going to click that. Okay, and click download for free. Okay, and you're going to click the downloaded um, program in the bottom left there. Okay. And then you're just going to continue with the setup just as. Um, just as a free user. Okay. Oh, so you're familiar with how this works. Okay, so I'll let you install that and just let me know your your ID and password once you're ready. Great. And while you're installing that, I'll log into the Office 365 admin portal and get your password reset for you. Found your account here. Let me just reset your password. Okay. Okay, you've got TeamViewer installed. Perfect. Okay. Let me connect here. And what is the ID? Okay, one minute here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the password? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. Okay, so I'm connected to your computer now. And I'm 
just going to open a, a notepad here and I'm going to paste your temporary password right in here for you. Okay, so that's your temporary password. I'll get you to log in and reset it for me. Okay. Yep. So you're going to go to portal.office.com. Yep. And then sign in with your email. Great. And then it's going to prompt you to change your password there. Perfect. Yeah, and you usually need um, some special characters and some numbers as well. Okay. Okay, perfect. So that's reset. That's issue one done. Okay, and you had an Outlook issue, you said. Okay, let's take a look at that here. Okay. Okay, I see. So you're having an issue removing this uh, shared mailbox on the left here. Okay, when we close it, it doesn't actually close. Interesting. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so if we click File, Accounts, Account Settings, can we double click your email and disable the shared mailbox download? Yep, that's already disabled. Okay, and then let's close and reopen Outlook. Okay, reopen it here. Okay, so it's open now and it's still there. Okay, and I've already um, disabled the access from the Exchange Admin Center. So I believe at this point we should create a new Outlook profile. So let me do that for you here. Just going to open a control panel. Okay, I'm going to go to mail, then profiles, and then I'm going to add a new profile. Okay, and here I'm going to get you entering your name, e your email address, and your password. You'll have to type that in twice. Okay. Looks like it picked that up. That's the correct account settings there. Okay, and we'll just set this as the default profile as well. Okay, and now Outlook's opening here. Okay, 
now it's opened and perfect the shared mailbox is not there anymore just what we wanted i'm just going to make sure the cached mode is enabled so you'll receive all your emails i believe the default is just one year's worth okay let me enable that real quick Okay. Account settings. Double click your email here and drag this to the all. Okay. It's going to close and reopen Outlook once more here. All right. Perfect. So that should be good. So second issue is done. And now the third issue, printer issue. Ah, my favorite. All right, let's take a look here. So if I open printers in the bottom left corner here, ah, I see this one's, uh, there's an error with this one. Okay. Yeah, so you say when you print to it, uh, just errors out. Okay. So I'm going to take a look at this device here. Printer properties. Okay, looks fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this, remove this device. Okay. And you said it's a, is this a network printer or is it directly plugged into your computer with a USB cable? It's a network. Okay. Connected to the Wi-Fi. Okay. Perfect. So. Let's see here. Let me try and search for the printer in the Windows settings here. Okay. Okay, it's not finding it. So. I'm going to try and add the printer via IP address. So I'm going to download and install this tool real quick. It's called Advanced IP Scanner. Okay, I'm just going to download and install this real quick. Okay, so it's a one nine two one six eight one dot network. Okay, zero to two five four. Scan that, and this I can see all the network devices here. Just give this a minute to scan the network and hopefully I can find your printer's IP address. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, looks like this would be it. It's the HP, right? Yeah, okay. So it's uh, 192.168.1.71. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the Windows settings here. Click the printer that I want isn't listed. Add by IP. Put in that IP address here. 1.71. Next. And we're going to use the current driver. Next. And we're going to add that. And it looks like it added properly. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to print a test page here. Okay, and um, yep, looks like it printed. And do you want to see if that um, printed on the printer there? Okay. It came out, okay, fantastic. Okay, and was there anything else I can help you with today? Or was that it? That was it? Perfect. All right, well, glad I could help and I hope you have a great rest of the day. All right, take care. All right, bye.